you all for coming out. We'd like to ask you to please keep the aisles clear as performers will be using them to leave and exit the stage. Please also turn off your cell phones as they can interfere with the technology used during our show. Please note flash photography as that can be very distracting to performers. Please look at your nearest exits and note that the restrooms are found in the lobby. Thank you and enjoy our show. appeal of the bad boy. Or bad girl. Image. Maybe it's the romantic image of mysterious schooners flying the Jolly Roger on the Spanish main. Maybe it's the allure of tropical islands and treasure chests brimming with gold and silver. Maybe it's the cute outfits they wear with the striped shirts, ragged pants, and rakish black eye patches. Every year, the number one selling costume for Halloween is a pirate costume. Books, movies, toys, and video games have all jumped on the pirate bandwagon. Or ship, I guess you'd say. There's even a national talk of a pirate day. Pirates are in. Pirates are popular. There's no getting around it. The show you're about to see is a bald-faced attempt to capitalize on this pirate phenomenon. The playwright could have chosen any number of topics to write about. Topics much more praiseworthy and more original. But let's face it, you all came here to see a pirate play. Would you have came to see a dissertation of the effects of elasticity on supply and demand? All right. Where are you girls going? To see the fierce and pirate break show. He is like so adorable. I love when he says the best in little living bills, right? Oh, when he calls all the girls to be fine wee wenches. Oh my god, wenches. I love when he calls us wenches. Ah! We rest our case. The vision of the fierce and fire Frank. Part the first. The original fierce and pirate Frank wasn't actually a pirate, you know. He was an actor back in the days of old Willie Shakespeare. <laughs> Frank was a pretty good actor. He could strike a noble pose. He could convey comedy and tragedy with the best of them. He did have one major flaw, however. No matter how hard he tried, poor Frank just could not remember his lines. To be or not to be? Is that the question? This made what? directors very angry. Cut! Cut! No, no, no. To be or not to be? That is the question. Uh, that's what I asked. Is that the question? Not is that the question. That is the question. But if the question... Out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> it made other actors very angry, too. <laughs> One night, Frank had the opportunity to play opposite the world-famous actress, Esmeralda Eppington. Uh, uh, uh. 
Obviously, Frank was not going to make it as a great Shakespearean actor. He was in love, though, because just about the time he was thinking of chucking the whole thing away and becoming a chimney sweep, he was taken on by an agent who had just what kind of part fit Frank to a T. His name was Mr. Fee. Huh. I wonder where a playwright got that name from. I tell you, Frank, this is the part for you. Really? Of course. There are no stunt ship directors or attempt builds or actions to deal with here. All you got to do is look fierce and daring with a pirate sword and eye patch. You got it made. Okay. Well, I can look fierce and daring. Of course you can. And best of all, there are no concave lines to learn. But you can't think of what to say. Just say, R. R? A little deeper. R. Let it come for your throat. R. And now, <laughs> With gusto! Arg! Now you got it, Frank! Arg! 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 And so, Frank won the lead in the hit show that was taking the town by storm. And he became the fearsome pirate Frank! Stop the alarm! Stop the alarm! It's the fearsome pirate Frank! Your ship has just laid anchor! Close your windows and doors! Lock up your gold and silver! Buy your jewels and your heirlooms! He'll stuff the rough from under your feet! But he'll be very handsome and dashing while he does it! Gangway, 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 buckos! Gangway! Hold your tongue, you lover. Hold your tongue, you boy. The fierce of fire have something to say. Maybe you're ready to say it. Quiet, everyone, quiet! The fierce of fire Frank is going to speak. What do you have to say, our fierce of fire Frank? We are but simple villagers, <laughs> but we will try to meet your demand. I be wanting. Yes. I be wanting. Yes. I be wanting. Yes. Arg. Arg. What a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> was the hit of the year in merry old England. Attendance topped Shakespeare stuff by a mile. Which I think says something about the taste of the Elizabethan public. Frank and his band of pirates were instant celebrities, accosted <coughs> everywhere they went by screaming winches desperate to get an autograph or steal a piece of pirate paraphernalia. <laughs> It was a glorious time for Frank. He had become a star. And he had even gotten to work with Esmeralda Eppington again. Frank, what do you think of this new costume I have for the Pirate Queen? Tell me the truth. Does it make me look fat? Why, my dear Esmeralda, you are a vision in velvet. You look, you look, arg! <laughs> Arg? Well, what's that supposed to mean? You, you think I look fat? You think I look like a fat pig, don't you? Say it! Say it! No one told you me! No, it's really no! Oh. 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 Ouch. <laughs> anyway, Frank had become rich. He had become famous. What more could he ask for? Here's the receipt to last night's show, Frank. This pirate gig is an absolute gold mine. Who would have thought people love pirates so much? I don't know, Smee. I'm getting a bit tired of saying arg every night. It's doing quite a strain on my vocal cords. Well, maybe you should add in a few more ahoy than a bath. Great little eyes, too. True. And my there she blows did quite successful last night. But it's more than the line, Smee. I feel like I'm missing something in my life. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel incomplete in a way. You know, dissatisfied. 
Would you believe it? An introspective pirate. There may be more to Frank than meets the eye. What I need is a big liverwurst sandwich. Then again, maybe not. So get on with our story. One night, Frank and his pirates were in the midst of their show when they had some unexpected visitors. It was Act Two, and Frank had just met up with the Pirate Queen, played, of course, by the one-time Shakespearean sensation and head smack work extraordinaire, Esmeralda Effington. Who gave you leave to come ashore on the island of the Pirate Queen? <clears throat> I need no man to give me leave, Pirate Queen. I'm the fearsome Pirate Frank, and I ask leave of no man. The fearsome Pirate Frank? Who be the fierce pirate Frank? Oh, who said that? Oh, Frank. Can't bring on no You may ask it of no man, young pirate, but if you value your life, you're gonna ask it of me, the pirate queen. Shiver me, timbers the wench, imagine she be a queen. <laughs> yeah. Fierce and pirate 
Frank, Bart the second. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, give me your first yo ho yo ho, yo ho. Poor Frank and his fellow actors, they never planned on being shade hot onto a real pirate ship when they took the gig. Let alone a pirate ship run by a bunch of women. The ship set sail at dawn, and the cast of the Fierce and Pirate Frank show was immediately put to work, sobbing to death, pumping the bilges, and well, whatever other lowly thing there is to do on a pirate ship. Esmeralda was kept in a small cabin below decks, which, if you ask me, was a wise choice on the part of Captain Frank. Uh, uh, no, ma'am. Of 
course not. I was only pointing Ugh, out. Now, the likes of you don't be pointing out things to the likes of me. I don't think you and that troublesome one to yours understand your situation here. Don't you know who should this be? Don't you know who I be? Uh, well, I know you're the captain, but... Bully the butts, me bucko! I told you before, I be the fearsome pirate Frank, the terror of the high seas. I ain't no fancy actor pretending to be a pirate. I'll be your dead likes, matey, a woman I may be, but I'd be the real thing. The toughest, meanest, nastiest captain to fly the Jolly Roger. So ho, Captain, so ho. I find me a ship up the starboard sea. A ship, you say? Let's go. Let's be bringing you on swaggy abreast. You ready, mateys? Children doing standing around. Get back to work. Uh, yes, ma'am, right away. Uh, of course, of course, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There'll be a shimmer, I can't. Everything's on me, shimmer, the black mark. The black mark? The black mark? Be careful, come about, come about. Yeah, come about. Smartly, mate, he's right, smartly, or I'll be feeding the fishes where the sun goes down. Man the hammer, creep the gully lover. Turn the mizzen. You scrogs, bang on the hatches. Hi, hi, ma'am. Bat down the hatches. Bat down the hatches. Bat down the hatches. Smartly, right smartly, or I'll be seeing inside of Davy Jones's locker for sure. Come about. Come about. Come about. Rip the collar, Walter. Bat down the hatches. Bat down the hatches. Bat down the hatches. Treat them as such. Hey, no stars in this ocean, lads. It's up to stars in the sky. 
I was suggesting you get yourself down to the form you made to carry it <laughs> Who wouldn't dare? Sorry, bro, when I drunk, carry the bitch below. I gotta go. Let's go with me, you peel trick pilots! Get your hands off of me! I am Edward Everton! Star, star, queen of the sea! Get your hands off of me! That'd be your right, spirit, young witch bones. I should be that little now. should be that. And what be you waiting for? Um, sorry, Miss Bones. I was just wondering. I, I was. Yeah, you've been wasting my time. I'm uh, sorry. I, I was. I was wondering. Uh, I was wondering if, if I could stay on watch with uh, you and uh, Miss Little Nell. Uh, you see, I'm not really tired, and maybe I could be of some kind of help. I mean, I could. Uh, I um uh, could do whatever it is you do on watch. You want to help, eh? It'd not be a bad idea to have an extra set of eyes tonight, Bones. Alright, guess take no harm in it. You can stay, so long as you don't get in my way. Oh, thank you, Miss Bones. And I will not get in your way. I promise. Either Frank is really taking to the pirate line, or he has something up his sleeve. Which I highly doubt. I don't think he's clever like that. Nothing out there, Miss Bones. And hey, I must say, this is a really nice spyglass. Way better than the ones we used in my play. Of course it is. I got it from me great great grandpa before he danced with old Jack Ketch. Danced with Jack Ketch? Was he a pirate too? <laughs> Was Jack Ketch a pirate too? Why did he that be a bit of Jack Ketch be a hangman and on the swab, and he's hired to be dancing with him for his Viking crew. Uh, that's where we find a funky baby Joe's lover. Wow. I guess I really don't know a lot about this pirate life. My acting coach always told me to research my parts, but I never really had the time. I always tried to memorize my lines so I wouldn't forget them. Turn them into portals, though. We'd be wanting to do ourselves. I'm afraid this fair wouldn't be taking us away from that blaster zombie ship. <clears throat> zombie ship? It's not it's not full of real zombies, is it? Not full of real zombies? Where have you been all your life, lad? The zombie ship be obeying in every jack that sails the seas. Especially be the man of our own Captain Frank. Aye, it been following her ever since she done the deed, it has. Done the deed? What, what are you talking about? That be a tale for Betty Bones to tell you, lad. She been there ever since the start. I just came in for the finale. What you say was be telling the left tale? We got one up, you know. It'd be a long neck, but we'd be having a long neck to tell it. So just help yourself down, honey. Get yourself ready to care for black people doing this. <coughs> How was just young saw at the time, the best friend of Captain Frank. Her father was a captain of the Beetaloo. Fasten soup bound from Barbary Coast. In order to milk this play to the piratey fullest, the playwright has decided to insert a flashback here. It provides the opportunity for more action, more swashbuckling, and of course, more pirates, which is what every pirate aficionado wants. Consider yourself, therefore, cast back into the days of Betty Bones' tale, back into the days of the Vita Lou. Father died on the sea and Captain Ben Dave, Captain Ben, Pagora's captain. You're the meanest old sea dog to walk the, to walk the deck of the sailing ship. But any of the top kids was, or I'd be hanging you by your thumbs from the bowsprit. Oh, sorry, Captain. We just came to sink to the bag of the wind. Be right away, Captain. They all can shake them. And be doing it, Buckos. And write smartly, too, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> no. No! Maybe oh! the bilge rod will be driven in the balloons, Captain. Come on, the blaggers, and feed them to the fishes. No, please, okay. Captain. I've been doing it for a point by the keep up on the courthouse. No! No! <laughs> no! Alright, and you were the meanest of the women on board. Me and Frank. You couldn't get rid of us. 
if he wanted to, because he made a promise to Captain Frank's father while he were on his deathbed. Captain Frank's dad had always wanted this son, you see, to carry on his footsteps as a pirate. That would be why he named his daughter Frank. He made old men promise to train Frank in the buccaneer and waves. A promise to be sacred in pirate's code, so Ben had to keep this. He didn't have to be nice to us, though. As soon as Frank's dad passed away, Ben put us to work, giving us the lowest, worst jobs that even a scurvy old bill driver turned his nose at. Get down in that pit, ye swabby, and be scrubbing out all the scum ye be finding there. I want it sparkling, you hear me? Sparkling. And what be ye looking at? Get down in that bilge water and be straining out all the mold and sea grass. Stuck in Ben's car, right? Tattoo him on board and most of the crew of the same. See, back in them days, there were many female pirates. To have a female on ship was bad luck. You know why we be missing out on that chase, you woeful wenchy? We be missing out on that fine fat swaggy. Cause ye maybe y'all end up poor when I be telling ya. But Captain, you be telling us to sell a star. Hold your tongue, you scurvy wench. Ye may be calling me a liar. No, 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 Captain. We don't be calling you a liar. We, we didn't just let the y'all be y'all poor. I'll be hearing too, Captain. Y'all poor, he said. Shut your traps, you dogs, or I'd be shutting for you. <laughs> Every day that Captain Frank used to spin in under Captain Ben Davy's ship brought a day of reckoning one day nearer. She began to plot and plan. She began to plan new, you see. One night, when we set ashore on the port of Cape Town, she brought on the toughest, meanest women to sail the seven seas. Little Nell, One Eyed Joan, Larry Hook. Them three and me and Captain Frank overpowered the rest of the while they were sleeping. Captain Men were right surprised when he walked on deck that morning. What be the meaning of this? Who be these winches with their cutlasses drawn? They be my crew, Ben. The crew that answers to me, this Captain. A crew of women? Ha! Disarm me, mates! Come on, disarm them! Take them down! Your opponents are asleep. We never had a chance. Never had a chance against these wee witches. Oh, what a scurvy lot you be. Did you be the mean and vicious. They be talking true, Ben. We be mean and vicious, and we be ready to take over your ship. No witch ever be taking over my ship. What you be saying about scurvy witches, Ben? I think this old dog be asking to walk our plank. I it be a nice day for walking. What say ye, mate? Do you want to see your captain walk the plank? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Between me and the captain, I'd be choosing the captain to do the walk. Are you new to the storm? What about the rest of your mates? Do you want to see your captain walk the plank? Walk the plank is what I say. Captain Frank fired the Lupita to the pirates. 
hired the wind pirates to help her the and went on to make a name for herself as the toughest, meanest pirate on the Bounty Main. Aye, uh, many a story were told about the captain's adventures. And every ship would seize their Jolly Roger, be ready to sink from sure. Except for the Black Mark. It decided on the sea following its exactly one year after the bloody deed, and it be hung Tom Frank ever since. Incredible tale. And no wonder Captain Frank is so disturbed by the Black Mark ship. Look at you! Concerning with the pirates, listening to their dribble. No, 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 no. Watch yourself, me, and she'd be armed with a blade bin. Now listen, listen to yourself. I have had it with all you women pirates. You're a disgraceful old woman that like. Having the money, you probably could have shown your hair! Man the deck, man the deck! I'll beat it till he be the black mark in our sights! Ain't the black mark, Captain. I mean, the wind's going crazy with Ben. Ugh, be that all. When I join a get bigger, grab the last night, Bingle. Till he and Betty both be a mite under the weather just now. Aye, Captain. Watch yourself, Joan. She'd be a terror with that thing. Listen, Missy, just. Ah! <laughs> I'll be thinking here it is. Aware of those possibilities that all of them here. 
They must be taught to face the world strong and brave. They must learn the merits of choosing the right shampoo and conditioner. Of using moisturizer and a good foundation. There's so much for them to learn. And you shall be your teacher. You want me to turn in? Local bitches into presentable woman art with mascara, lip gloss, and a uh, sort of blush? <laughs> well, better teach you a poor woman who's been victimized by the figure of power too long to see the picture of the picture of the bed of sun in it. We shall cast a spell over them and make them putty in your hands. They will beg you to best go upon them the knowledge of more being than to be. But before we do that, we will give you a makeover! A makeover? Bringing you on swaggy abreast. Man, she's from the sails. 
Come on, Mean Things, he's got your compasses drawn. We'd be about ready to board. What do you say? The Black Mark? No. It, it, it's another ship. Look at the flag. Let me close it in, Captain. Ready be hardies. Let's be boarding her. Ah! Oh, dear. I hope we don't feel the makeup. It took such a long time to do. Especially that one. 
everybody sleeping. They were up late partying last night after capturing the Smee ship. I see. Well, I guess they might as well have some fun while they can. Go out there, do, do. Uh, are, are you a seagull? <laughs> Does that mean we're near land? No. Then what what are you? I am in an albatross. Sad avian of the sea. Oh, an albatross. I've heard of you. Of course you have. Is there anyone who sails the sea who hasn't heard of the albatross? I am a millstone from another sailor's neck. net. Try to bird be shot down with pity. I'm an outcast pariah. Woe is me, woe, woe is me. <laughs> Wait, wait, please don't cry. Please don't cry. It, it, it can't be that bad. That's easy for you to say. You're not an albatross. You don't understand what it's like to be shunned and feared and despised. <laughs> Lying. That joke could close your found on a sweet ship. You have some fine little outfits in it. I, I'm not so sure about wearing some of them, though. I, I didn't agree with you there, Hillary. Oh, some of them look so tight they'd be chafing your underarms. Big ass! Do we have an albatross on board? Oh, no, sugar oh, oh, like what I'm going to be seeing is... Shoot! Shoot! Away with these! Blaster bird! You're not be wanting to hear! See what I mean? Go on, then. Kick me, scream at me, call me name. I expect no less. Woe is me. Listen. Get those scrocks clean enough to galley. Would be half his bones. Ah, by the power of oh. that bird out of here. Alright, alright. I know what I'm not wanting. I just have something to say, and then I'll be on my way. We not be one to hear what you have to be saying, bird. Of course you don't. No one ever wants to hear what I have to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. There's the garbage of food for suing you. The black bar! All on board is on a terrible fate. And he, his pure heart, his advantage, dusty, dusty, and shadowy ship. Did you know it's a clever alliteration in these <laughs> Now, you'll see if you find my way. Find the ocean where. Help me walk. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fly me past water, you're gonna be a little bit of 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 a well, might I venture to suggest an idea, Captain? The Captain, I'll be asking where I is. No, I see. At ease, Bones. I'd be open to any suggestions what might stop this blasted ship. Speak your piece, lover. Okay. Well, the Albatross did say that he who is pure heart could make us a zombie ship, right? Aye, and that not be me or any of my mates. <laughs> pure heart takes a pirate stronghold. That'd be sure. Exactly. But. <coughs> oh. Frank here just so happens to have played Sir Galahad a few years back. And he forgot every line, if I remember right. It doesn't matter if he couldn't remember the line, as long as he stayed silent. He was the perfect Sir Galahad, <coughs> the epitome of a pure and simple soul. Oh, he was poor. Uh, me, I, I can't. Yeah, sure you can, lad. You be our only hope. Take no doubt as we are made to need to fight with lily white hearts, we be shark bait. So, We'll just take our tiny black hearts below decks and you can defeat the blasted zombie ship. What? And if you succeed, I'll let you jump ship with Mr. Smee when we get back to board. But that's the thing. What if, what if I don't succeed? I've never even met a zombie. I, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to say. Just say, you're a noble Captain Frank with a pure heart and an honorable mate. Well, that be the ticket, me bucko. <coughs> so, oh, Captain. To be, to be the black Are you ready, mates? All hands, full of that. Take your cutlass, Frank. It may not be known if it can cut down any zombies, but it'll be all I can give you. Good luck to you, with you. Just remember, we're acting close to talking, Frank. Chin up, shoulders back, eyes forward. <laughs> Become the seafaring Galahad, the perfect noble Captain Frank, who fights for the just and the honorable. We believe you, Frank. We believe. I think 
we're all crazy to rely on Frank to save us. <laughs> Be the noble Captain Galahad. I mean Frank, and I fight for the horticulture. I mean, I fight for the R. Don't mind, 
I think I'd be rid of this ship of hateful zombies. Ah! Drag your blighted carcasses away from me, ship. This be a ship of goodness, a ship of light. It be needed no scurvy zombies. It be needed no faithful pirate captain. Away with ye! Away! Hey. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. That was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> yeah, didn't be bucko, you defeated the blast this long. Look, Captain, the Black Mark, it be sinking. And you're in the seas of a foul ship, the Black Mark. You did it, Frank. Hooray! Hooray, Frank! Hooray, Frank! Maybe a jolly good fellow. And a right friend, Jack Carr. It was an award winning performance, Frank. A toy to force. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Now, Captain, hopefully you can keep your promise and get Frank and I back to shore so we can start our new pirate reality show. Come on, guys, what do you say?